Day two at Diamond Country Club was another scorcher, with temperatures reaching 35 degrees Celsius by midday, but a little extra wind kept the scoring in check, with four under the best score of the morning. England's Thomas Thurloway made this extraordinary 40-foot birdie putt on the 9th to reach 3 under par, but a quadruple bogey 8 on the 10th saw him drop back over par in a round of 73. There were no such problems for countryman Joseph Long, who started the day 5 under par. The 22-year-old battled back from 3 over through 4 holes to turn in 37, and come home in 33 to set a new clubhouse lead at 7 under par. Today got off to a bit of a shaky start. I mean, the Thames quite a tough hole, but then regained some confidence and hold a few nice putts. Front line hit it really solid again, and yeah, it was pretty good to be honest with you. The most exciting round of the morning belonged to Finn Alex Haitala. The left-hander had only three pars today in a round where he carded an eagle and seven birdies, including this 12-footer on the second. However, five bogeys and two doubles left Alex with his second level par 72 this week. The afternoon session got underway and overnight leader Blake Windred carried on where he left off yesterday. 34 bogey-free holes came to an end on his 17th, but a 71 today has him in a group one off the lead at seven under par. The Australian led at the halfway stage of last year's championship and will be looking to draw on that experience in the last two rounds. Well, I made some um, good par saves, especially today. Um, yeah, so definitely just keep rolling them putts in and um, yeah. I'll take that. So you tied for the lead once again. You were tied for the lead last year in the uh, Netherlands heading into the last two days. Is there anything you learned last year that you're gonna do different this time? Just go out and make birdies. That's, that's the secret. The big move of the day came from last year's runner-up, Jerry G. The Dutchman opened with a four under 68 and on day two, he shot a 69 to sit just one off the lead at seven under par. The 19 year old looking to go one better than last year. But the moment of the day came from Rasmus Niergaard Pettersson, who had a hole in one at the par 3 second. The Dane finished 2 under today and is 5 under for the tournament at the halfway stage. I figured it had to play a little bit downwind, so I hit a 7 iron, got off to a good line. I actually, I towed it to fly a little bit, I, I thought it was going to come up a little bit short if the wind wasn't there. And we'll just hear this big noise and don't see the ball go anywhere, but the hole. Was it a slam dunk then? Slam dunk, straight in. 